Eric Ten Hag spoke to the press on Tuesday afternoon as he looked ahead to Manchester United's fifth round tie with West Ham in the FA Cup. United head into the game on the back of winning the Carabao Cup at the weekend, but they must quickly turn their focus to another domestic competition and their chance at more silverware. Ten Hag's side beat the Hammers the last time the two sides met earlier in the season, though it could be a tricky test against a West Ham team that won 4-0 at the weekend. The United manager issued some early team news ahead of the clash, with Anthony Marshall still sidelined after he missed the Wembley win at the weekend. Fred and Luke Shaw are also doubtful for the midweek match. 12:49. Richard Fay Y Ten Hag did not panic after poor start. Eric Ten Hag insists he did not panic over Manchester United's chastening start to the season, as it was part of the process. United lost 2-1 at home to Brighton in their first game of the campaign and were thrashed 4-0 at Brentford six days later, a performance so abject Ten Hag ordered the players in for training the next day for a punishing run in 30-degree heat. 12.45 Key event Two players are doubts for West Ham FA Cup tie Anthony Marshall will not be available for Manchester United in their FA Cup fifth round tie against West Ham. Marshall has missed 28 of United's 40 games this season and he has been sidelined for four weeks with a hip injury. 12.38 Richard Fay not distracted by Liverpool clash 12.37 Richard Fay bouncing back from bad start 12.36 Richard Fay a team effort 12.33 Richard Fay moving on to next challenge 12.32 Richard Fay no extra celebrations 12.31 Richard Fay 10 Hag praises squad 12.30 key event early team news 12.30 Richard Fay here we go updates from Eric Ten Hag to follow. 12.24 Richard Fay not long to go a reminder we will hear from Eric Ten Hag at 12.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. 12.19 Richard Fay Moyes on his Old Trafford return 12.07 Richard Fay Anthony Marshall update expected Eric Ten Hag is likely to be asked about the fitness of Anthony Marshall ahead of the match. Marshall, who has not started a game since January 14 and last completed 90 minutes in January 2021, is still out with a hip injury and missed the Carabao Cup final. 11.58 Richard Faith main talking points A look at the main talking points ahead of today's press conference. 11.45 Richard Fay up for another cup Eric Ten Hag has already turned his attention to the next trophy at United, and the FA Cup would likely be their best bet. Man City are the only team ranked higher than them left in the competition, and they have already been beaten once at Old Trafford this season. It really is the cliché of taking it one game at a time, but if United win tomorrow night they have every right to dream of another Wembley win. 11.37 Richard Fay Ten Hag targeting two major signings in summer Eric Ten Hag wants at least two significant signings in the summer to maintain Manchester United's momentum next season. The power brokers at United have prioritized a new goalscorer and Ten Hag is also pushing for a midfield reinforcement. United could also recruit a centre back to bolster their defence if captain Harry Maguire leaves. The Manchester Evening News revealed in January United have compiled a list of players they are prepared to sell and figures at the club are planning for more outgoings than incomings ahead of next season. Richard Fay seen setter the Carabao Cup trophy is on display. Richard Fay what time does it start? Eric Ten Hag will talk to the press from 12.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Richard Fay welcome hello and welcome to today's press conference coverage.